Karen wants her twenty dollars back. This is twelve minutes. I figured this would be very short. Tonight, one of the most terrifying yet hilarious phone messages that New Zealand has ever heard. Chuck and give sub Kishi. Karen, who just wants her twenty dollars back. Hello, this is Karen. Rachel said she can normally hide <clears throat> from me for her twenty lousy dollars that she owes me from like over well over three months ago. She won six hundred dollars. At the pokies, at the Stokes Valley Bar. The fuck is the pokies? said to Jade and Dion, Don't tell Karen you've seen me, cause I owe her 20 bucks. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll get my 20 bucks, or she's gonna get 20 fucking wax. Jesus Christ. Wax. Not my fault she's a mental crazy lady that wanted to go off with a fucking lesbian that's now with a man. Not my fault your daughter's This is a lot of lore. Holy fault. shit. Not my fucking fault. I want my fucking money. It was the wrong number. Damn, that's intense. Oh. The recording was uploaded to the internet and it became a viral comedy hit. Then without warning, Karen disappeared. Until now, I got a tip that she was in Christchurch. And this is the moment that I've been waiting for for six years. Twenty fucking wet, wet. Damn, she looks scary. Guy. And that posture is nuts. Thank you. It's a power stance. Oh, you're tall. You invite us in? Yes, come on in. Thanks for the bits battered in little away. ab. Here it is, it's in the middle. Here it is, here it is. It's one of those little... Mm, mm, mm gone. Shit, that works. <laughs> fucking gave him 20 fucking wax, eh? 20, 20 wax, so you fly. So take us back to the beginning. Why did Rachel owe you $20? <laughs> this is self-incriminating. What do you mean self-incriminating? <laughs> well, it was for some marijuana. Wow. Oh, <laughs> damn. I buy it to sell it. I buy it to smoke it. When you listen back to the call, do you feel embarrassed? Sometimes. Because I never did it with the intention of... The rest of the world listening to it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she seems nice. To be honest. <laughs> Karen was the opposite to what I expected. She was kind and oddly charming. So I got downloaded onto YouTube and then it blew up. Yeah, I was very surprised because I didn't understand technology and just how great and vast it is. My mobile phone does heaps of things that I don't know how to do. What sort of stuff does it do that you don't know how to do? Well, I don't know. If I knew how to do it, I'd know what it is. <laughs> That's a good point. Man, this guy's just came in and, coming in here and getting 20 wax from Karen now. <laughs> I want to win lotto. Why do you want to win lotto? Because then I'll have no money worries, will I? But I had ulterior motives for meeting today. Oh, he's gonna a beat her ass. Plan that would hopefully change the course of both of our lives. Oh, he brought Rachel. Forever. I think you're born with a talent that not many people have. Really? Don't you think? No. Have you ever thought about getting into the debt collection industry? No. <laughs> what do you mean, no? <laughs> it's not me. Hustling people because they owe money. That literally is you. That's what you're most famous for doing, isn't it? I did that once. And you stumbled onto a wonderful thing. Okay, but I still wouldn't be a debt collector and go and hassle people. No, you don't hassle people. They come to you. <laughs> we sit up. Thanks for the bits again, little ab. People call up. Yeah. And go, Karen, can you leave a voice message for this guy who owes me 20 bucks? And you call up and leave them a message and they fucking pay that money. Well, I reckon that's a good idea, actually. It's great, yeah. You're coming around, right? Yeah. What should we call your debt collection agency? 20 fucking wax. 20 fucking wax. <laughs> is anybody gonna hire me? I reckon how This is so wholesome now. I thought this was gonna be like a fun freak out. It's not at all. She even has crayon drawings on her wall. What if I told you that me and Karen are setting up a dick collection business together? Can I join? Thanks to the gift sub, Lil Ab. Oh, awesome. Fuck, I'll yeah, be okay. that one, mate. Do you have anyone that owes you money right now? Yep, $50 actually. Was your um phone passcode there 1234? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I won't tell anyone, I won't tell anyone. It's Karen here. I'm ringing up on behalf of Cruz. He would like his $50 you owe him. So I suggest you pay that fucking $50 or you're going to get 50 fucking wax. You hear that? She'd like her 50 fucking dollars. It's like everyone in New Zealand sounds like Korg. Got it? 20 from Marvel. Wax. Do you realize that if you How wholesome. 
I'm coming to get you. 20 fucking whacks. Now pay up. It's a dollar a whack. Now you gonna pay him or do you want me to come and see you? Isn't this a kid? Back, to be honest, save yeah. the driver. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. 300 fucking whacks. Now pay up, okay? Bye. So how good was that? Oh, I fucking loved it. A wonderful it. service? Yeah. Yeah, great service. Yeah. I know Korg is voiced by a New Zealander, a Kiwi. Yeah, very intimidating. I'm well aware. I'm Jeff and I use Karen's Debt Collection Agency and it's awesome. I think Karen's Debt Collection Agency is a bloody great idea. I highly recommend it. Would you like to say down the camera, my name is Cruz and I highly recommend Karen's Debt Collection Agency. Thanks for giving some little ab. Cruz and I recommend Karen as a Debt Agent Collection Agency. Nice, you nailed it. <laughs> do you want to do another take or nah? No, I'll do, I'll just leave it there when it is. <laughs> <laughs> People that guy's fucking great. Before we could launch a business, we needed a logo. So I I like, can we follow that guy next? What does he do? Develop the brand. We have to move things around a little bit so the swearing is not uh, the highlight. But... Oh, I can make it the highlight of anything. Because mm. like, people are going to hear some bad shit. This is a fucking journey. What sort of swords do you reckon we'll be using in the phone calls? Well, I'd say it's really bloody and fucking. Mainly bloody and fucking. Yeah. Shit. Wanker. Fuckhead. Wally bloody Walty. A Wally bloody Walty. Yeah. I don't even know what that means, but I like it. It just comes to me. It's genius. So just to give an example of the kind of service that we are hoping to offer, we'll demonstrate how a normal phone call will work. Bing, 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 bing. Hello, how may I help you? Um, I need a debt collector. Who owes you money and how much? There's this guy named Hugh. Yes. He's a real fucking asshole. Okay, that's our speciality, dealing in fucking assholes. His phone number is, um, what's your phone number? I'm not going to say my phone number. Just say your phone number. Well, not, not on Say your number. fucking phone number. 027-323-414. This is a really good yeah, video. Bye. I'm invested. Bye. I like these two. Thanks for the, pri the resubs, so. Ring, ring. Hello? Is that Hugh, is it? Yeah, it is. Hello. You owe somebody $45? Uh, I don't think so. $45 fucking dollars. You gonna pay that $45 fucking dollars? Or you gonna get 45 fucking wax? Watch your choice. This has a Channel 5 feel uh, to I'll, it. I'll, I'll, when I'll he's in public, yeah. That's a good idea. Thanks, Karen. You're the best. Bye. Beep. That was fucking good. That was really good. <laughs> Hugh had everything he needed to create a logo, but we were still lacking almost every other aspect of. I want to see her get into a fight now. A business. I don't know. Do you have any money? No, I've got no money. Do you have anything to anything to sell? No, I've got nothing to sell. So I got no money. You've got no money. We need an investor. So we've got to. Thanks for the gift sub again, Marky. Somebody just like Dragon's Den. What, what do you mean, like Dragon's Den? In England. In England, Dragon's Den's a TV No, go to Shark show. Tank. Go to Shark Tank. We're on a TV show right now. I know. We're not going to go on another TV show. That'd be weird. Don't think we'll go over there to do it because they won't be interested. Do you, yeah, that's the problem, right? And it will cost more money in flights. We might as well just use that to invest in the business. But Thank you again, Marky, and well, thanks for the prime so booze. I'm out of ideas, mate. Well, what if we got a local investor? What about Who? Jacinda? Jacinda, the Prime Minister of New Zealand. Yeah. Well, she won't go for it. There's a swear word in the title. What about Julian Fellows? Who are these people? That, who, who the fuck are they talking about? It's one of the richest people that I've heard of. Julian Fellows, all right. Yeah. Unfortunately, writer and producer of Downton Abbey, Julian Fellows, Thanks to give some chance in Maki. Two days later, I managed to secure a private meeting with local well-known Christchurch businessman, Mike Pirro. Hi, I'm Guy Williams from Television. Hi, I'm Karen from Stokes Valley. Okay, right. This is so much effort into this. Jesus Christ. The business is a deep collection agency. Karen. Thanks a bit, little ab. Intimidating phone call voices the world has ever seen. Yeah, we. Well, um, what is the business called? Oh, that's a good logo. Twenty fucking wax. So that would be limited or unlimited. Why do we limit ourselves when we've got unlimited potential? Yeah. Okay. So it's your business and you're both partners. We're not in a relationship. He's a tier one Kelda. Just, um, just work together closely. Work together, yeah. And you've come up, that's amazing. What happens if you don't pay, you might ask? Yes. Well, boy, do we have the solution for that. So, so uh, no, I get it, I get it. I can. You don't have to whack him anymore. This I, is so wholesome, though. It's one whack per dollar. I wanted to see a freak out, but instead I got like a buddy yeah, so cop how movie. How long would it take to give him 52 million whacks? I'll have to have a very long sleep. You can be there for four days. Yeah. And that's the length we're willing to go to to make this business a reality. So, um, 
Watch the 433 concert and then the explanation. Why? That shit sucks, man. It's just more pretentious dog shit. I already know what you're talking about. It's this goddamn silent performance, right? John Cage, he just sits at a piano for 4 minutes and 33 seconds. I hate that garbage, man. I think that shit sucks. Thanks to give sub Dynadil. Finish the vid? Oh yeah, there was like a minute. There's only like a minute left, but sure, we can finish it. Tonight, one of the Worst business idea I've ever heard of. It's absolute crap. There's no way it's going to fly for a countless... We think your opinion is horse shit. Yeah. Yeah? I'll see you later, Mike. Oh, um... Yeah, rotate. Nice to meet you. Oh, no. Jesus. I forgot my bag. Bye. Not nice to meet you. Mike Pirro. Mike Pirro dickhead. 20 fucking wax was over. We were headed home. Damn. Empty handed. You know what? I'm sure Everybody she'll bounce back. Everybody starts from somewhere. We can do it. I don't know if we can do it ourselves. Oh, we have to. You've got to believe. You've got to have the faith. Well, we've got no money. What about Julian Fellows? Did he have money when he did Downton Abbey? Yeah, he had millions. Of I wish I knew who Julian Fellows was. Did she have money to become Prime Minister? Yeah, that was a huge campaign. What about J.K. Rowling? We gotta be like J.K. Rowling. Grab the magic. Karen was right. We had to grab the magic. We didn't need any fancy investors or marketing. We had the viral sensation, Karen herself. Twenty fucking wax. Twenty fucking wax. Yeehaw. <laughs> people could start in a garage and Facebook in a college dorm, then who's to say 20 fucking wax unlimited couldn't start buy some bins behind a mall? Action. Do you have a friend who won't pay you back? This is Karen from 20 fucking wax debt collection agency. Do you have a friend who needs a whack? If you don't give Peter his 40 fucking dollars, then you'll be getting... Thanks for the tier one soldier. Need 20 fuck a wax dick, dick collection, collection agency. agency. This guy recommends it. My name is Cruz, and I recommend Karen as a dick agent collector. See, that guy is the best endorsement you could ever fucking have, man. I love that guy. Can we get him a job here? Maybe an internship? That's our logo. That's what we do. Thank you so much for that, and really appreciate it. And thanks for being part of Karen's dick collection agency, 20 fucking wax. Another satisfied customer. Email, Email us now. Well, guy, we did it. We did it. We got a business. Against all the odds, we launched a company that day. But more importantly, we launched a friendship. And with my help, Karen was well on her way to becoming one of the richest people that I'd ever heard of. Eat your heart out, Julian Fellows. Is that him? That's the legend himself? Man, fuck that guy. What a wholesome experience that was. New Zealand today. Thanks, Arisa Puma. I don't know that channel very well, but that guy put a lot of effort to that, and I respect it. And she was awesome. What a lovely woman. Jesus Christ, thank you for the 25 gift subs, Prince. Thank you for the generosity. Jesus Christ. I also now see the entire thing was a skit. I actually thought this spawned from a real voicemail. And then he made it, all of this, on the back of it. But it clearly is not the case. They work together a lot. I guess I just don't know New Zealand today. Damn. I like it much better thinking that he just really hit it off with that woman. And then they went on this entire buddy cop adventure and made this entire little uh, story. Yeah, I didn't know that was... I mean, that was really well made. I genuinely didn't know that was, like, a skit. I thought she was just, like, really charismatic, so then they just kept doing things together. But it looks like they're, they're a team at New Zealand today, because here she is again down here. This... Well, I guess it could have spawned from that, to be fair. 
Because this was six months ago, whereas that was two years ago. Thanks for give sub Oni. And the resub Jossie. Cryo and the Prime Sack is dry. The original was over eight years ago. The voice message was eight years ago? God damn. Wendy's manager loses it. <laughs> 